Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My today video is about disconnecting on-premise from Office 365 Azure tenant. So as we use Azure AD Connect tool to connect to Office 365 tenant so that our local Active Directory users can be synchronized with Office 365. We have decided to move from on-premise to cloud and we want to remove our local active directory servers local users and we don't need anything local so we will disconnect local active directory from cloud azure ad without losing anything so my this tutorial is purely for system administrators or the one who are working in id normally we can uninstall this azure ad connect tool and we can disable or break synchronization between local active directory server and azure cloud so we can uninstall this tool by going to control panel programs and features let me try to show you how we can uninstall it by going to control panel basically my target of this lecture is to get everybody understand how we can do it via powershell so for example if our server gets crashed or if our active directory server gets offline for any reason or if we don't have access to our local active directory for any reason and we have to break a sync between local active directory server and azure cloud so by going to here we can uninstall this tool by going to uninstall that's it regarding how we can do it normally and now let's learn how we can do it via powershell so let me open PowerShell as an administrator. Okay. So before going to my this lecture, if you need to understand how we can install required PowerShell module, right? and uh, once we have installed this required powershell module we will be able to connect to office 365 tenant via powershell so if you need to know how we can first set up powershell so that we will be able to connect to office 365 admin center you can follow my previous videos i will also add the link in this video just for your understanding i have installed these module already in my powershell so i will go to connect and source service directly so i will be able to connect office 365 tenant from powershell hit enter okay once i have entered that command connect and source service it's asking me to enter admin password for the office 365 tenant i have entered the admin email now it's asking me to enter the admin password so let's enter the admin password okay now i have entered the admin password and hit sign in there's it i get sign in to office 365 admin center and our active directory server goes down or get corrupted due to some reason like power issue or a hardware issue and now i am not able to change any user from office 365 because of synchronization is in place so now i have to disable active directory sync via PowerShell. There will be simply one command by which we can disable sync via PowerShell. We have to enter this command here set msold dir sync enable 
and enable directory sync is set to false and hit enter. Now I press enter and it's asking me to confirm. So I am confirmed. I want to disable my active directory sync with PowerShell because we have decided to move on a cloud and we have decided to remove our local active directory server completely. So I will select Y. Hit enter. Okay, now I have selected Y and I press enter and it's came to next line. Mostly this thing can be break in one or two hours, but the Microsoft recommendation for this thing is to wait for 72 hours. So for verification, let me stop video and I will start video again to check the status of sync. Okay. You can run this command to check the status of synchronization if it gets disabled or if it's still enabled. So I'll enter this command and let's press enter. Let's wait for the status false. You see the status of local active directory and the cloud Azure active directory connection is set to false now so if you want to re-enable it you can simply enter true here in front of this command you can simply enter true let me show you here you can simply enter true and you can hit enter please note that enabling and disabling azure ad sync will take 72 hours only this single command can take 72 hours to get it done so this is all about disabling active directory sync with cloud azure active directory via powershell okay the best suitable method for disabling or disconnecting active directory sync to azure active directory is we can uninstall Azure AD Connect tool from local on premise. And if in case we have lost our server and we are not able to disable Azure AD sync with local Active Directory, so this is the way we have to do it via commands. There will be two or three commands. I will add all of these in the video description. Thanks for watching.